Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let me uh, wipe this lens off real quick here. Uh, yeah, sorry I haven't been around in a while, but been uh, really busy outside. The weather's been nice. And, you know, I got a pool out there. I, I love to stay in the pool. And then at night I've been building bonfires every night. But tonight we had some rain come through. So I finally decided to get in here and uh, complete something that's been on the table for a while. So without further ado, I'll turn this camera around and show you guys what we've got done. So here we go. We finally finished our uh, International 27A heavy rescue truck that we've been working on for quite a while now. It's kind of hard to get it all in camera. I'm, I'm trying to hold this camera by hand back a little bit so we can see it. But I was, uh, I was really pleased with the way this turned out. Again, uh, resin cast cab. And then I scratch built the body. And on this guy, we've got the, uh, the frame and the wheels and tires from the uh, Kenworth cement mixer. We scratch built the front bumper on it. We, we put some square fuel tanks on it from a Mac, uh, what was it, DM, DM600 truck. It was the only thing I could find that, that would fit in this small space that I had. But they, I think they worked out pretty well. And then, of course, we, we tilted the hood and we crammed in the Detroit diesel from an American La France uh, fire truck kit. So I think overall, th this has uh, one, two... It's got about three or four different kits in one build, so you know it uh, it came out all right. We uh, we had a video on how to make the the tail light panels, and I made uh, another twelve volt flashlight for it. Made some more fire extinguishers for it. I made a video on how I make all these. Uh, all these lights on it and the light housings. Now this thing was painted with uh, rattle can uh, Rust-Oleum cherry red paint for the red. The white is duplicolor polar polar white, which I, I did have some issues with it uh, getting the glass in. Like I said before, these. These uh, resin kits that came from uh, AITM, uh, the the windows, the glass are is pretty tricky. But I got it. You know, it's I had to brush paint some touch up on it, and you know, it is what it is. Uh, we added uh, movable spotlights to it. I made my own marker lights for the top. The uh, The black gasket is a very small nylon uh, type of washer. And then the, the orange domes are out of another AMT truck kit. We made, uh, made all the, the mirrors for it. All these up here. And they actually reflect. I just uh, painted those with some Molotov chrome pen. So, you know, they got a nice reflection on them. We made the little spot mirrors up here, which this one's kind of not right because it's really not pointing anywhere. But, oh well. But, I mean, overall, I think it, can, it turned out pretty well there's a shot of the underneath we put some little chrome detail on the mud guards down there yeah as we did on the the front here i added some uh just some 
pieces of styrene for the mud guard. I try to keep mud and stuff off of the, the fuel tanks. Can't really see much detail on the inside, but this has uh, decals from several different AMT kits. The uh, lettering up here is uh, basically just peel and stick uh, lettering from uh, Hobby Lobby that I bought years ago. Let me see if I can. Uh, alphabet stickers. I mean, it's just peel and stick, but it matches the uh, the the black outline with the gold lettering ma matches the uh, pinstripe that we put on it. It matches the door decal as well. That's out of the uh, updated LaFrance kit. So, yeah, there we go. I finally got it done. I know it's been a while. I apologize for the delay in the final reveal of it. But like I said, I I tend to get lazy when the, the weather gets warmer. I find myself outside more than anything else. But we numbered her as Rescue Squad 238. I think she came out pretty good. And then we are we are still currently uh working on the bus. Again, nothing nothing new with that from what I showed on the last video of it. But thanks to everybody for watching and for staying tuned. Thank you to uh all the new subscribers I have. I I appreciate that very much, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll have something to post again here soon, and not take so long. But thanks for watching.